What do Taylor and Garrett from Love is Blind have in common between their love archetypes? What do they have in common, Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> well, hot nerd April, they actually basically have everything in common. Um, first off, they're both independent, right? Like if we're thinking about interdependent versus independent, I feel like they they both were very vocal about how we're very independent. That might be a problem when we're trying to mix our lives together. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, I definitely agree. I think that they came in, they built their lives, you know, in terms of career, friendships, family. They just had a lot of other areas of their life figured out. They were super independent and they were coming in as like love being extra added. Like it's a bonus to Ooh. have, that, you know, so I think they were super independent. Definitely. And then when we're thinking about the dichotomy of being pragmatic or dreamers, I think they were both very oh, pragmatic. For sure. <laughs> for sure. They had their checklists. They knew exactly what they were looking for. And I think they were actually genuinely surprised that they found it. I think they were like, oh, I'm too particular for this type of experiment. But then they were like, whoa, I actually found somebody who fits my entire checklist. That's kind of crazy. It is. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I think they're both pragmatic. And they just ended up with, it's interesting, like, then they ended up with, like, fairy tale kind of meant to be dream dreamers, you know, like, where it's, like, both their parents getting married. Like, so many things worked out for them, you know, right. even though they're pragmatic. So, yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. And then um, as far as the dichotomy of centered versus anxious, they both seemed pretty centered in, in in each like in themselves. Like they didn't feel like they needed a whole lot of reassurance outside of that like one, you know, very human blip of Taylor like really needing that reassurance from him after she caught him weirdly lying. That just didn't really make sense to me. No reason. Like literally, you did not have to lie at all, and then getting caught while you're about to marry this person after knowing them for only like a couple weeks. So. I think that they're, I mean, these are two people that have just, you can clearly tell that they had parents or I don't know, like that communicated with them. They know what it, I don't know. It just seemed like they really knew themselves and knew what they wanted in a person. So they both seemed super, yeah, centered. Yeah, for but, sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, and then the last dichotomy is fun versus emotional stability. And this was hard. This was hard because they both give very stable. But when we're looking like at the holistic part of their relationship and just who they are as individual people too, I, I feel like they, they rely more on the fun side. Like they really like to enter in that like stimulating, exciting, adventurous part of their relationship. I agree. I think it's hard with them because they seem so stable in a lot of their lives in terms of their work and the relationships that they have. However, I do agree that I think they like to have a lot of fun, even, you know, I'm sure we'll talk about the reunion, but it's just, it seems like from the photos yeah. and videos they share, they like, they love adventure and fun. And that's how they, I don't know, like, that's how their relationship gets stronger, it seems like, is through this, like, travel and adventure. Yeah, yeah so I agree. Absolutely. So, drum roll, that would mean that they're literally both the exact same love archetypes in the dimensional love archetype realm. They both are the adventurer, which is, mm -hmm. you know, pretty interesting. Just to give you all an idea of what the adventurer is, fun-loving, stable, and independent, will pursue relationships with uh, that will pragmatically fit into their lives, but do not need one to be happy. And I really feel like that's what they gave. It's like they weren't coming into this like, I need love. They really walked out of it like, I wanted this person. <laughs> Look, it wasn't given desperation. That's all I'll say. <laughs> it wasn't forced. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't. Oh.